Hi, Gemini. I'm Brenda, and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of October the 16th to the 23rd, 2017. Happy Thanksgiving Day to all my friends in Canada and those that are celebrating it today. I want to thank you also for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading, and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any questions, yes, I can give those to you in a private reading. So I welcome you to go up there and press that button, and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a private Reiki treatment session. See you soon. We start our week, Gemini, on Monday with a water card. And you, my friend, have been given the six of water. And water cards have to do often with relationships in our lives. And sometimes they're romantic and intimate, and other times they're not. They may be with friends, they may be with family members that we keep close in our circle. This is telling me that some of you actually will be dealing with issues in your closest circle, your family circle, or perhaps it has to do with your job or an organization uh, for some, and for others it may be an organization or a project you're working on. But I do see you will be dealing with young people. You will be dealing, some of you, with children. Some of them it may be personal. It may be children in your own family circle. I do see some of you have been daydreaming. You've been romanticizing. You've been thinking about memories way back to your childhood. For some reason, this has brought it out. I do see that some of you are writing an autobiography. I do see some of you are journaling. I do see some of you are blogging. And it has to do with issues that have to do either with your childhood in your past, that you are working in a collaboration with other children in your life right now. They tell me that some of you are dealing with counseling that some of you are professional counselors or some of you are just sharing your past as a child to help this child or children in your lives right now. On Tuesday, you've been given an air card and this is the three of air. And it's the only air card you've been given in this reading. And it has to do with the injustice that people bring into our lives that stir the pot up, that create these kind of challenges that force us and back us up against the wall to make fair and just decisions and choices determined around everybody's motive. I do see that some of you have been dealing with legal issues, with lawyers, with courts. It's been very challenging. It's been very depleting, very defeating, and very tiring. But please know, throughout all this great sadness, you will heal. And the message coming in is take time, okay? Everybody heals at their, at their own time and, and level. Um, the word they throw out here, which is going to help you heal through this time of sadness, is forgiveness. Forgiveness of yourself and forgiveness of others. So you may be issuing an apology or you may be receiving one. Quite ironic, you've been given this card on Wednesday, crowning your week. This is strength. This is all about you digging deep within your own self to be strong. This is all about inner strength, okay? This is all about uh, releasing any harsh judgments so that you can clearly be able to uh, deal with the stress and challenges coming into your life right now. They talk about forgiveness. They talk about compassion coming in here into play. So please know that with being strong, it's all to do with inner strength, my friend. Right now, it has to do with not jumping in with both feet, not jumping in uh, and, and uh, being aggressive and being angry. It's all about inner strength. Fire card. Self-development card. Seven of fire. It has to do with taking risks going places we never would have gone, doing things that we have to be brave to do and have courage to do, but things we have the passion and the ability to do. This is all about you defending your own beliefs and standing up on your own platform and speaking your truth, okay? Making these decisions for yourself, for your own self-development in your life, standing your ground and choosing your battles wisely, okay? 
don't go back and, and, and into your past and pick those little nitpicky problems that, that started to fester, that you saved up, as we call collecting stamps. And then all of a sudden, it gets ignited. The fuse gets ignited, and all of this stuff comes out. So deal with everything as it comes on your path, okay? But please know that you will be able to defend your own beliefs with integrity and truthfulness. Earth card for Friday. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, often our jobs, careers, and how we bring that abundance in the form of currency into our lives. It tells me that some of you have way too much going on in your life right now. And there is a decision that you feel you have to make. I do see some of you getting overloaded at your place of employment. Uh, I do see some of the places that some of you are working. There have been, there have been cutbacks, which means you have been given someone else's job and it, I can see your desk just overflowing some of you with this extra work and it's really really tiring right now to you there's too much going on I do see some of you have perhaps um, put things you know on the shelf that maybe you should have done so you need to honor your commitments get them done my friend because you can okay but in order to do that they show me you need to prioritize put your piles in order okay and do what you have to do that becomes uh, your priority first. And you will get all this work done. But this decision that you're going to be making that's been plaguing some of you, that you've been putting on the back burner, this a decision for some of you, please know you can make this decision. Because when you get it done, you're just, going to, you're just going to figure out an easy way to make that decision. And you're going to go like this and say, why did I do this a long time ago? This wasn't so hard to do, this decision. Saturday you've been given a major card and this is the magician this is all about you being given a, a, a message that timing is of the essence but timing is right right now it's perfect on your path to to make your dreams come true because it shows me that you've been thinking about a, a, a topic and an issue in your life a decision a choice that you've been wanting to make and please know you're ready okay they're telling me you're ready and you have the the resources and the ability to manifest this dream that you've been wanting to do. Don't be afraid. It shows me that some of you know you have it, but you're afraid to step forward. Please dig deep for your courage. Please be confident. That's who you are. And it's as though when you do this, when this manifests, you're going to think that life is just magical. On Sunday, you've been given another Earth card, and this is the Ace of Earth. And again, it has to do with the material part of your lives, often jobs, careers, and professions. This also has to do with the ace, which is the beginnings of these things coming in. Okay? Ace is the beginning of all things coming in, in any of these suits. This is the beginning of an inflow of abundance. And abundance can come in in the form of time, effort, and or money. I do see this as a form of money. I do see this as the form of promotion. I do see this as a positive forward walk on your path in business. It has to do with a business venture. Some of you are getting involved in a business venture. I do see some of you will be signing important documents and contracts that are going to solidify and secure this position within your profession, within this job. Okay, this is a good business decision you're making. So. The word is a promising business venture. Again, I leave you with a beautiful oracle card. And today I chose to do something different. And I was given divine, a divine message to go to Mary, Queen of Angels. And these messages come from her, the Queen of Angels, the ultimate mother. And it's funny how the inflow of money, um, you know, defending your own beliefs, Okay, came up. Look at the card that you were given today. Truth. This is all about you being honest to yourself and doing what's right for yourself and for others. This is all about you standing up and speaking your truth on your platform now. Be true. Be true to who you are. And I'll tell you, things will work out for the better and for your benefit when you do. So the message coming in from the divine and beautiful Mary are speak your truth. Believe in your truth. Live in your truth. I wish you a great remainder to today, Gemini, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to.
Again, I leave you with another quote. I have always believed, and I still believe, that whatever good or bad fortune may come our way, we can always give it meaning and transform it into something of value. See you again next week, my friends, and know that I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Gemini.